Hi guys, just going to share some thoughts with you. Uh, my intention in this video is to, to give you clarity on how you can not only generate leads and revenue for your business through paid advertisement, um, but really restore a bit of truth as to what is going on here. So you have your website, okay, and, it, and you can drive traffic to your website, but the information that this audience has had previously, how they perceive your business and product before they go onto the website is going to determine the decisions they make. Meaning, if they don't know who you are, if they don't trust you, if they don't understand what value you give to these people, if you've not handled their objections up front, and if you haven't generally built enough desire for your product, then chances are you're going to have an extremely low conversion rate when these people hit your website. Okay, so what can we do that? What can we do about this? Okay, what are some strategies that that are really going to move the needle for your business and achieve what you are trying to achieve when it comes to digital marketing your business? Okay, so this goes into priming. Okay, and I've I've gone heavily into priming with my studies, and priming is is, is where you are giving people data, okay? Data is perceived through your senses, okay? And also, data is, is internally made as well through your imagination. Um, so, priming is where you're giving people data prior to a decision being put in front of those people, okay? So, it doesn't matter what product you're selling, okay? The information you give to people is going to dictate what decision they make, okay? Obviously, we're speaking about digital marketing, which means... We want more people to buy your products, okay? So chances are that you have a product which really moves people's lives forward, okay? I don't think you'd be watching this video if, if you didn't. Um, and chances are that, that your potential customers have beliefs um, which are holding them back from making them making the decision on purchasing your products, okay? And these objections have to be thoroughly thought, thought through and handled prior to this, this audience um, buying from you, okay? So a lot of things have to happen beforehand um, before we advertise to people, okay? And Facebook now gives you the tools where we can build audiences of people that have engaged with a particular um, video, for example. So, for an example, another example, I keep saying example, um, we can make a video, okay, and we can handle an objection up front, and we can see, because the platform gives us the tools, how many people have watched this particular video, okay, so we now know that this group of people here have, we have primed them, okay, we haven't done everything up front, okay, we've literally primed them, okay, and this is just one type of priming okay we need to do a whole lot of priming before this audience has a much higher probability of buying your product okay so this is the sort of things that a digital marketer thinks of okay what are some things what are some perspectives what are some objections we can handle um, and how can we start building these audiences up and once we do actually get round to advertising to these people, there's going to be a much higher likely chance of them buying your products because, number one, they will know you. Number two, they'll like you. Number three, they'll trust you. Number four, we have proactively give them a vision, okay? So we've, we've thought of what are the main buying motives, um, which which are important to these people, okay? Why are people going to buy your product? And how can we show people through a video people achieving their desired goal, okay? Because that is going to be visceral. If, if someone sees another person achieving something that they want through a particular product, okay, this feeling is visceral, okay? And this is the feeling that people are buying into. Remember, people don't buy things for logical reasons. They buy things for emotional reasons, okay? So think right now of your audience of your potential customers okay they have a particular desired self which they wake up each day thinking of um and and trying to become this person okay they're trying to be 
a better person or maybe it's a, it's, it's a, a particular environment that they're after. And your product is a vehicle that takes this person from their current situation to their desired situation, okay? So to get someone interested in your product, we have to think of the most powerful motives that already exist and how can we show people achieving this already, okay? And this is a great way to initially introduce yourself to a brand new market because if someone doesn't know who you are, they don't give a shit about you. They don't give a shit about who you are or your product um, because they have not had the perspectives of what your business or product can do for them, okay? So this has to happen way before we advertise to people. Um, this is something I expertise in, whether it's video or whether it's regular content, okay? We need to strategically think of what content is going to prime an audience um, and have a higher probability of them of them buying your products once you advertise to those people. 